What's up everyone and welcome back. Today's video, we'll be diving into the Govi Outdoor Permanent Lights initial setup and how to on the app. As always, if you're finding this content useful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications. All right guys, so it's time to set up your Govi lights. We will need to first Hit the plus symbol at the top right. We are showing LED strips, so you want to tap on the outdoor lighting. For this example, we will be setting up the 30 meter permanent outdoor lights, which is the 100 feet. So we want to look for that. And here it is. So go ahead and click that. Now the device is thinking and soon it will connect. Device is now in the pairing mode. So go ahead and follow what it reads here by short pressing the on and off button. I already have another device, which is my outdoor lights I currently have. So as you can see, that's why it prompted me at the top that my lights are connected to Alexa. It will take you to the Wi-Fi settings, so take the time to search for your Wi-Fi name and enter your password. Okay, now that your Wi-Fi is connected, get within range to your device. Sometimes you'll be prompted with a version update. So here you go, update it and wait a second. A few moments later. This is Frisciano 770. In this next section, I'll be talking about grouping the controllers. If you want the whole works, same model group control will be the way to go. For the ones that want just basic functions and are not too tech savvy, then basic would be better for you. On the top left, you'll see a back arrow. Hit that and on the next page, tap on the home button. Scroll to the bottom for groups. Hit the plus, same model group control. I'll be connecting two controllers and naming it Outdoor Lights Group. After naming it, confirm, then hit the plus, hit both models, which is in this case my two 100 feet, then press the yellow circle with the check on the top right. So click on the group down at the bottom. Once you're done with these settings, and if you don't have a schedule for these lights, you can manually turn them on and off here. As you can see at the top, it's the same model group control. Hit the color button at the bottom. Let's scroll down a little and check out the segmented lighting. Whenever it has been mentioned on social platforms about groups of four, this is how you can tell which four are actually lighting up. This is for Tim and Jeff. You can only end with no less than four lights. Other than that, you can cut anywhere within the strand in your install. This portion you can use to verify which are your four. Currently, all the lights are shut off as it indicates a grayed out section. I will be doing a every other four on and off lighting. Click the first, then skip one, then third, and so on. Now that this is complete, all checked areas will be assigned a color, or in this case, white. So I will be hitting white. Take a look at the result. If you want to turn on all the other sections, just simply hit the areas not checked and hit white or any other color you prefer. Remember, if one section of four is good, uncheck it and now check only the ones you want to change. Don't let this confuse you. Hit the rewind and give it a try on your lights, then proceed with the video. As each section is checked, you can adjust the brightness by moving the bar left to right. Let's move over to the advanced settings. In here, you can take things a little further. We're going to pick a color by pressing the down arrow. Here you can use the preset colors or find a preferred color off the spectrum wheel. 
in advanced settings you can now individually color each light and make patterns. I will be doing a candy cane effect for this example. Here is a result of these settings. I will now show solid lines as an example. Here is a result of these settings. If you would like to add effects to your settings, scroll up and cycle through the clockwise, counterclockwise, cycle, gradient, twinkle, and breathe. You can adjust the speed of your effect as well. We are still in the same model mode, but we will move on to the scene modes. The app has a total of 73 preset modes, categories like Natural, Festival, Life, and Emotion. We will now take a look at the DIY modes in the same model group. DJ Rez, you can use this section of the video to answer your question. There's also one at the end of the video. Hit the yellow plus symbol at the top right, then click the arrow to name your DIY. For example, I will name this 4th of July. I will be clicking on the plus symbol here to pick my colors. This shows that once you have placed your colors, you can rearrange them. Here is an example of me rearranging them. Once you have picked your colors, hit done and apply. Hit confirm for this area. Now your DIY is saved. Now you can always come back to this area to see what DIY projects you have created. Let's get out of this area and now focus on basic group. You can also adjust the brightness in the basic group control. We will be using the single color button. We will be moving on to the multicolor button. You could use the preset color wheels at the bottom. You could also use the AI color matching tool at the top and it'll match whatever picture that is there. Something I forgot to mention, in the same model group, you could use the music to play along on your phone or with a stereo.
and in the basic group you have the same feature but only in a mic form. We will now cover timers in this section. We will need to set timers for both devices so let's start by pressing 1 now. Once the device opens, press the orange timer. I will first set the lights to come on at 8pm. Click on the time to begin. The app uses military time so this will be 20 hundred hours. You now want to set the days of the week you would like them to come on. Click on the yellow circle with a check on the top right. Next, I will be setting a timer for when I want my lights to come off. Let's set the timer for 6 a.m. Once you have completed the first timer, tap on the yellow circle with the check top right to apply. Get out and repeat this process with your second device. Your timer is set to come on and off during these days and time. Let's work on some schedules. Hit the automation at the top. Schedules override timers on a particular week and time and will use a custom design you have made. Set a schedule for that week so hit the plus symbol at the top right. Select schedule type for plan by week. Next hit the pencil if you would like to name your schedule. If not hit the plus symbol to add a time point. Set your time and add action which is devices. Once you tap on the device, you can now add one of your saved customized designs. Repeat this process with the next device. In this section I will be covering working with one device and using the snapshot to save your custom design. In the color mode, let's customize a design at the snake line. Hit the white box with the slash so you can turn off some of your lights. Once you have customized to your liking, press the green circle with the cam to save your snapshot. Then name your design. The last thing we will cover is the Global Explorer. Tap the world to begin at the bottom. Here you will find all the Govi users sharing their settings, find GIFs, photos, and use that design. Let's scroll down and pick a few examples. Let's try this one right here. If you like what you see, hit the apply button down at the bottom to apply these settings. Here is another user settings. America. This setting will set a firework display. You can also apply workshop creations. Rags Rayo, take a look at the end of this video to answer your question. This is probably because a few strands were connected and the rest were added after. Disconnect from the power source. Plug it back in after a few seconds. 
then hold the reset button on the controller for 5 seconds. Now all your lights should work. Hughes Reviews, to answer your question, yes it can be done. I know it's been a long few days waiting for this video, so I have to say to everyone, thank you for being so patient. Hit that like button, turn on the bell notification, till next time.